say in the modern generation to guide their sexuality according to science. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm not sure that it's the business of a scientist to guide anybody. <laughs> From a Darwinian point of view, uh, sexuality is all about reproduction, and um, that's what it's there for, and uh, all the details of our evolution of sexuality can be interpreted in that light. Um, however, uh, we have rather, we've moved on rather from our Darwinian roots, and in just the same way as we have all sorts of practices which have rather little to do with our evolutionary past, like the practice of music and art and poetry and, and, and science indeed, um, where these are not obviously uh, geared towards propagating our selfish genes. And sexuality also has been emancipated, if we wished to emancipate it, from its original function of, uh, of reproduction. And so um, sexuality too can flower in the sorts of ways that, that, that literature and art fl flower um, and emancipate itself from its evolutionary roots. And of course, that's what's happened. Um, it, when, whenever anybody uses a, a contraception, they're, they're using sex for, for, for a, a purpose other than the original biological one. And similarly, the, the wide variety of people's sexual um, preferences, homosexuality and so on, again, this is not very, not very Darwinian, but it's, it's what people like. And, that, and, and um, so it's another aspect of the freedom which, which humans have. Um, 